What's up everyone? Next up in this tutorial series, we will explore Alloware Talk, and here I have Dale as your guide. Let's go. Hi, it's Dale again from Alloware. This is the Alloware Talk 2 tutorial. As you may already know, Alloware comes with two interfaces, the Alloware Admin and the Alloware Talk. To access Alloware Talk when you're using an admin account, all you have to do is to click the blue button on the upper right side of the screen. For those who doesn't have an admin account, you will be prompted to Alloware Talk as soon as that you log in. There are three main practical uses of Alloware that are utilized by thousands of our users. First is the communication tabs. Second, contacts. And third is the power dialer. Under the communication tab is where you can find the general inbox where all the interactions are stored. As you notice, there will be an open, pending, and closed columns. Open column represents all communications that require someone's attention. The pending column represents all of the outgoing communications that hasn't been answered yet, while the closed column represents a status indicating for no further actions are needed. You can also sort this out by simply looking at your contact ownership, calls, messages, and mentions. You can also use this filter if you want to narrow it down in a more detailed manner. Since we already have an understanding of communication tabs function, now let's dive into the contact tabs. Let's say we already have all of the contacts here in Alloware. In our case, we have a total of 48,000 contacts. To manage this large number of contacts, we can consolidate them into one list, which can be found on the left side of your screen. To create a list, go to my list, give your list a name, and select what type of list you wanted to create. It's either that you wanted to create a dynamic list or a static list. Dynamic list automatically updates based of a filter, while the static list does not automatically update. We can create a list of contacts based from these filters, whether it could be from a disposition status, contact ownership, emails contains exactly such as alware.com. And as soon as that you're done setting up the filters, then you can hit save. Just to make sure that the contact list that you created are successfully saved into your system, then you can go ahead and check it under my list. And as soon as that you have your list created, you can start the engagement from here. So let's say I'll be talking to Kat. From here, I can send him a text message in a personalized form or by sending her a text template. And to make a phone call, all you just need to do is to click it right here. Every call interaction, it's ideal to leave a disposition. Dispositions are one of the properties in Alloware that you can use as a filter. Aside from calling those contacts one by one, we can also enroll them into Power Dialer. And take note, the Power Dialer feature only available for XPro plan. In the Power Dialer tab, we can enroll the contact list that we created. Go to Power Dialer list and create from an existing contact list. And as soon as all of the contacts has been enrolled to your power dialer, all you just need to do is to select all of the contacts, start dialing, and from here, there will be a few filters that you can configure based from the setup you want. Let's say I wanted to call from my own personal line. Warm up period is the waiting duration before we go to the next call. We can also pull up a phone script and we can begin dialing. Don't forget to dispose your calls properly and you can click finish. Those are the top three features that you should know and talk to.